Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Tanner Knust with 31 Triple Doppler. Wait, Taylor, I've actually really loved this weather. Me too. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't feel muggy anymore. Mm -hmm. It's not too hot, but there is some rain. A chance for some a, chance a few rain. showers and storms. It's not going to be a complete washout, okay, but a good. handful of you might have to deal with that this evening. Uh, uh, folks heading to Alabama Jubilee to Decatur, which oh, is yeah. behind me, uh, we'll be watching closely to see if one of those downpours passes over your location. If it doesn't, it's going to be perfect out there, there this evening for uh, those hot air balloons to it's a popular event. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So let's get you to the two uh, Decatur right now where it's a very comfortable 78 degrees at this hour. As you can see on the way 31 sky cam network, mostly clear sky there at this moment. The temperatures will remain very comfortable throughout the evening. We're going to watch out for a chance at a few showers and storms, mainly after 8 p.m. I think between now and 8 p.m. We are good to go for those balloons to lift off and they are expected to take off uh, about an hour from right now. So from that point through eight o'clock, good to go. After that, we'll watch out for a couple of pop up showers and storms later in the evening. 31 triple Doppler primarily dry at the moment. I am keeping an eye on what I'm not necessarily calling a front, but just kind of a an area of lift or a convergence zone that is popping up some isolated showers from Tennessee through Jackson County. This is drifting southwestward and this may be a focal point for a few more storms to fire up as we head into the evening and as it pushes southwest, that could mean some of our more heavily populated areas like Huntsville, Gunnersville over to Decatur could get some brief downpours as we head into the evening. This again will initially be most likely in northeast Alabama drifts southwestward over time through late this evening. We will still have that chance for a few of those pop up showers and storms and then all of that activity should drift southward later in the night tonight and we should be dry from that point and likely through the end of this weekend. Once that rain chance clears out, it's going to get awfully cool tonight for this time of the year. We're talking lows in the 50s everywhere, but check out Fort Payne down to 50 degrees. Wouldn't be shocked if Mentone got to the upper 40s overnight tonight. Isolated parts of Jackson County could be looking at upper, upper 40s for lows tonight as well. That is unusual for this time of the year when our average lows are in the low to mid 60s. Here's what we can expect on your Sunday. I do anticipate some sunshine in the morning, but clouds will gradually fill in in the afternoon. That plus north winds will keep our temperatures cooler than average once again for this time of the year. The reason we have cooler than average temperatures is because of an, a low pressure system that's circulating just off the east coast today. That's more or less where it's going to stay the rest of this weekend. So we have north winds wrapping around that low pressure, sending in the cooler than average and drier than average air into North Alabama for the next couple of days. We are not going to see any of that summer heat or humidity until probably the middle of next week. Let's walk you through the rest of the holiday weekend. Again, Sunday we start with some sun. Clouds will fill during the afternoon and that north breeze will send in some cool air during that time as well. Monday Memorial Day also looks like more clouds than sunshine heading our way as that system continues to linger around. But as you saw there on future radar, very little rain in the forecast for the rest of the weekend. Part of the reason for that low humidity in place. Dew points will stay put in the low to mid 50s both Sunday and on Monday. That is unusual. Typically we're talking very muggy weather once we get to Memorial Day weekend, but that is not the case this year. Here is your Memorial Day forecast. Temperatures starting in the 60s in the morning, only topping out in the mid to upper 70s in the afternoon. After we get past that, we are going to flip the switch to more summer like weather. Highs climbing to the mid 80s by the middle of next week, all the way up near 90 by the following weekend. So. All right, we're just going to have to enjoy this yes. while we have it because I, I think a lot of y'all are not fans of the humidity. <laughs> so this has been a good break. Taylor, yes. thank you for that.